What's up guys, Hellish Hero Toy Reviews doing a brief um, review, this time on something a tad bit different. Um, this is some more, um, a lot more actually, um, KO Naruto figures, but not any like particular main character. Um, these figures are all based off, with the exception of a couple, based off um, Great Fourth Great Ninja War or like the last arc or whatever towards the end of Naruto Shippuden. Um, so this is really cool. Um, the company that I believe made these made um, like all my Akatsuki figures and my Sage Mode Naruto and Kakashi. Um, so they did a really good job with these. Um, they made molded um, one character. They made molded Ninja Gear, um, which is really cool. So we got some characters from the Sand Village. Uh... Of course, the Hidden Leaf. Um, I'm not f too familiar with these characters. I believe these characters were like side characters that were seen in the anime. I know some of them played a more important role than others. Um, so yeah, so they're all cool. And I got an extra heat on because I didn't have this version of him. Um, so of course, the two maybe like most like important figures in the set of characters that I got was probably um, Guy Sensei. Um, if you are a fan of Naruto, anybody should know who Guy... If I can get it to focus. It's not focusing. There we go. Anybody should know who Guy Sensei is. Um, he is one of my favorite characters. He's a very funny character. Um, very over the top. Um, and he has an alternate face. Um, this is his alternate face, him winking, which is something he's known for. Um, it's not focusing. Oh, well. And he has a, a alternate face, which is just like a regular smiling face. Um, so I was really looking forward to getting Guy Sensei. Um, we also got Kiba Azuka. Um, Kiba is known to have a, a dog named Akamaru, and they, he uses Akamaru with his... Um, his ninjutsu and genjutsu, not genjutsu, but his ninjutsu. Um, yeah, so I was really looking forward to Kiba. He's really cool. Um, when I was younger, Kiba was my favorite character when I was younger. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. So I have all of Team Kurenai, um, ex with the exception of Kurenai herself. Um, and this character, I, I can, for the life of me, I can't remember. I probably should have Googled his name before I did this review, but, um, he appeared in the first um, anime of Arc 1, and he also, I believe he was Kurohamaru, his um, teacher in Shippuden. Uh, oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so he's cool. The fact that he got a minifigure is pretty cool. He was a pretty key side character who always appeared in the anime from time to time. Um, and lastly, we have Donzo. Originally, I wasn't going to get Donzo, but I was like, well, I could use more antagonists. And he does have a cool design. Um, he has the, the Uchiha eyes, the shotgun gun eyes on his, uh, his, uh, right arm, I believe. Yeah, his right arm. Um, he has shotgun, gun, I believe. And it's not focusing. There we go. Um, yeah, so, like I said, all these characters are really cool. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend all of them. Um, maybe cost me maybe like 15 bucks for all of these guys. Um, they came with a whole bunch of accessories, mostly just extra hands and shurikens and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I just briefly want to show these guys off. I had put... Not all, but I put, like, most of my Naruto figures in a little box um, so they don't get, uh, I've been having my Transformers out on display. Um, but I'm considering taking them all out and displaying them somewhere because I've accumulated a lot of these KO Naruto figures and they are really cool. Um, but like I said, I highly recommend these. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace, guys.